So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back. And in this video, we're going to be discussing about the property color which we are using so far in CSS. Now CSS, what it can do is that it allows you to target a particular element or a bunch of elements. As a matter of fact, you just saw that even though we used a single P tag here, two P's actually got converted to red, right? Because they were both obviously P's and the paragraphs and we just targeted the paragraph converted them all to red and it applied throughout the document right so anyway what css can do is it can just do more than a single property so it can have a bunch of properties in here and all those properties would be applied to um the respective thing just like i said cascading style sheets mean that the styles with which appear later would be applied with a higher priority so if I somewhere down the line again write color and maybe write um, you know black again then you're going to see that CSS actually takes priority for black over red although we do get a kind of a, a warning here that do not use duplicate style definitions but this is how you, this, you should know this that um, if you write a property name again inside a definition of a, of a list of properties then that previous property gets replaced right or gets overridden as a matter of fact or maybe you know the browser doesn't does not even really see this property so what happens now is that what i wanted to tell you is how a property looks like so a property has a name a colon and then a value right and uh, you never never ever write the uh, the value inside quotes in css right because um, it's it's pretty much you know it's pretty much obvious to CSS what you're saying in almost all the cases I'm not talking about some exceptions where you have to write something in quotes for example your own generated content like URLs and stuff or maybe like um, you know in pseudo selectors which we'll study later on but uh, in most of the properties you would know never use con the the columns here right if you use it just won't work right so you have to never use columns are not really columns the code symbol right so yeah this is basically how property works and if you're using code name you can just play around with the colors like this and uh, just just make some something funny and funky out of it just go ahead and try it out so yeah that's basically it for this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next video really soon